Hello, here we have Jack Ass Bitters. Grows about seven feet tall, or actually I've seen it over, over ten feet tall, but it uh, looks very similar to yarrow that we find in the, um, all around the world. It is known as Jack Ass Bitters because it is highly bitter, and it's typically the leaves that we use, but the roots have also been used in this plant, which are underground, of course. Um, yeah, what can we say about it? Well, basically, it's a fungicide and parasitic purgative, so great herb down here. There's a lot of these kind of bugs and critters. can be used externally on the body for any kind of um, infection or open sore or wound, which I happen to have a little wound on my finger here. It might be hard to see. That's been open for a couple of days and I'm going to try using this. Basically just take this leaf, crush it up, and use the juice of the leaf on my open wound. So we'll see how that works and hopefully it'll heal it. I've been using tea tree as it is, but I think this might work better. It is extremely bitter. Its Spanish name is Tres Puntas because of the three uh, points on the leaves, as you can see. But yeah, one of the more powerful medicines and often used in skin ailments, like I said, or internally. High in vitamin C and just strong, powerful plant. You can tell sort of by the energy how it just shoots up in the air and is there. So yeah, I hope to use this more in my practice at home and I'm happy to see it all over the place here in Latin America. So, sides of the road, um, forest, it likes a bit of wetland area, so it's good to see wherever it is.